been an exciting week. It's been a thrilling week. It's been a week of ups and downs. It's been a week of ebbs and flows. And just think, this is just the beginning. This is just the first... I keep thinking of that Heath Ledger scene in The Dark Knight when he goes, And here, here we go. Hee <laughs> hee. That's what it is, right? Yes, and then nothing happened. And <laughs> nothing happened, right? Uh, you know, the kids are going to be out of school, running around like crazy. I got nothing else going on. Oh, this is going to be a go. Oh, people look at that. It's going to change a lot. Well, fortunately, we have an ironclad health care system in the United States, Bill. Yep. I'm not worried about... Don't be poor th- and you're fine. <laughs> I'm more worried about a thing. Hey, I'm Alan Cox. Thanks for showing up. If you're, We'd love to hear from you, by the way, if you are self-quarantining. Say hi to Bill Squire, who's here, too. Creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to wash your hands and don't touch your face. Hey, there's Mary Santora, who was going to be out today. Yeah. Hi, guys. No babies. Lab Fest in Grand Rapids got canceled. See? So here I told ya. Told ya. Don't you told, told ya. Don't you told, told ya. ya. Don't you told ya. But you knew it was going to be. I had a yeah. very strong inkling that that was going to happen, but yeah. what are you going to do? Yeah, well. So um, you can Venmo me at Mary Santora <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make up for Venmo that, me. For the uh, lost paycheck from this weekend. But... <laughs> How much do you want people? How much do you need? How much uh, were they going to pay you? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. So if every three single... quarters of a dog. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gotten three quarters of a puppy. Right. Or twenty-five shelter dogs. Right. Either way. <laughs> so if every yeah. single one of our listeners right now Venmoed you a dollar, we could get to half of what you need. Perfect. Ba- fantastic. All right. Hey, say hi to Pound Cake, who's back behind the glass. Afternoon, white people. Happy Friday. Late in the show yesterday, I feel. It would be over, uh, it would be hyperbole to say that we had a bit of a scare, but Pound Cake was wonky yesterday. Yeah. And not in the usual way. He, we thought he was stroking out for a second. Did you go home? Did you get some sleep? What did you do? How did you How um, did you remedy that? I or did, did you just brush it off? I did go home. I did get some sleep. I talked to my mom. I'm going to go see her this weekend. Um, did you avoid hitting the pen? I, I did not hit I the pen. I know you like to hit the pen. Yeah, yeah I, I did not hit the pen, um, but... I felt like this for a while. Like, I feel like it a lot, and so. Do you feel like the, it right now? Um, sometimes. But now, what does that consist of? Like, you this get, predates any of this uh, COVID nineteen. Yeah, stuff. no, I get really, really lightheaded. Um, blood pressure. I, I don't know. I don't know necessarily what it is. He gets blood. He gets blood pressure. He gets blood pressure. That's yes. good. Yeah. That's a good, good thing. Your mom's a nurse. She'll tell you blood pressure is a great thing. But like, when I don't, you don't have it. That's a bad thing. Yeah. I don't know what it Very stems bad. from. Honestly, I really don't know what it stems from. And it, well, and it, it the heart is pumping blood throughout your body. What? Not high blood pressure. I mean, but, oh. <laughs> but well, it, they say hypertension, high blood pressure. Those are markers for being more susceptible to what's going around. Yeah, I know, and that's why I was super scared about it. But I've been like chugging water like crazy, and I've just been like watching like how my body operates. But I know I'm not normal. I, I was telling Bill, I was like, I do feel like something's wrong, and I'm gonna go to the doctor and get it checked out. But I, what I don't want is people just like throwing in and what it could be because we don't know until we know. Right. Do you um, know, Bill, viruses mutate. What if this mutates into a brand new strain called Cody nineteen? Ooh. And he is patient. Cody nineteen. <laughs> But, and he is patient zero for that. I just want to apologize because I f- was really, really embarrassed yesterday. Don't, Why? Don't be embarrassed. No, 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 no. We're not breaking your no, balls. No, I'm, not, I wanna... I'm not apologizing to you guys. I'm apologizing oh. to the listeners because I, like, it, I get really bad anxiety, and especially like when I think people are sitting in their cars listening to us, and then like they hear me and they're like, "Oh, this idiot!" Like I promise you, like, well, they think that even when you are. <laughs> 100% coherent. Even when you feel <laughs> just fine, yes. that might at least flash like, across uh, their mind. Especially minds, yesterday, so. and it's just really, really embarrassing, and it's like, normally I wouldn't talk about my health stuff, but when stuff happens on air, like, I'm forced to. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really sorry. But at least you have I, all your vision. I have, Well, I got glass on my face, so I better. He has all his vision. Mm-hmm. He's got blood pressure. He's. I mean, things are looking up. He is in good shape. Yeah. Don't be embarrassed, man. That's something that you can't you can't do anything about. That that's a, absolutely not. It is embarrassing because I mean, no, this it's is, not. We'll we'll make a list of things you can be embarrassed about. Right. But like, when <laughs> he gets embarrassed a lot, a lot of coffin skate, you can be embarrassed. I'm about. not going to tell. I'm not going to tell him what to be embarrassed by. 
Just you, whatever you want to do. You be embarrassed, <laughs> How about right? Just suggestions. <laughs> it's just going to be. I'm gonna have one hell of a time trying to go to the doctor and stuff like that. Like impeccable timing, of course. Pound cake timing. Like yeah. during all Coffin this. Confiscate it. During all this, and I'm like, are they going to be? Oh, do you have the coronavirus? Like, no. I'm just feeling really, really lightheaded, and you know, I feel dizzy a lot. Mm. Could be anemic. They'll ask you if you've been on a cruise recently, and I haven't. Maybe anemia. Yeah. Well, iron will do that. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. We could just start. We could just start doing our own tests. You just start taking iron supplements. See if that may, makes you feel better. If it doesn't, yes. Let's draw some on, blood. Yeah. Look. My mom is a nurse. I'm gonna have Listen, her. Listen, your me mom's out. a nurse. I dropped out of pharmacy school. I think I know more. We got it, and I got WebMD on my computer. We got here. this. We'll it's tag all figured you, out. Your mom has got her hands and full of work. I have the work. power of prayer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. so, we'll get you right, son. <laughs> send me prayers and positive vibes. Whatever you do, thoughts. Whatever. When they send, send say positive vibes, how do you guys do that? Do you? How do I send positive yeah, how vibes? How do you send positive vibes? Because like I know how to pray, but how do you send positive vibes? Do you like do you like? You put your hands fingers, like, yeah, on yeah, your temple. Fingers to your temple, and, and you then squint you squint your eyes, and then you like focus on that person and go positive vibes. Well, Wait, so you're like Professor X? Yeah. Oh. And it's whatever's positive for that person. Like okay. for you, I would send like I'd be like coheed and Jews, coheed and Jews. Like that's I what thought I would you said coheed and Jews. Yeah, or <laughs> Jews, whatever makes you happier. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta tailor the positive vibes to All that right. person because I'm not gonna send you country music positive vibes. Right, because that would make me that would be worse. Unhappy. But what if it changed the way I felt about country music? Yeah, what if country music positive country vibes? Country music, you're like Jason Aldean and Dude, whatever was, that other guy is. I was listening to like upbeat Cramp 90s country. Water. <laughs> I was listening to upbeat uh, 90s country all day and now I'm like, I'm telling you, it'll put you in a good mood. It'll sure. put you in a good mood. Dude, you gotta bop around. It doesn't. You hear it and you're like... It is undeniably upbeat music, right? In that its tempo is high. Uh, the the lyrics are trying to be positive, yeah. right? Albeit uh, certainly going down a very narrow road of experiences. <laughs> Nevertheless, right? If it gets you pumped up, yeah. nothing wrong with that. Mind body experience. If your mind is, uh, is 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 happy and healthy, then hopefully your body will follow suit. And if for you that's country music, yeah, uh, hey, whatever, hey. whatever, <laughs> right? right? So what are the what are the positive vibes that we're sending the pound cake? Um, uh, all right. Literal thoughts. <laughs> Deep jokes, yes. literal thoughts. <laughs> Deep literal thoughts. Deep bits and literal thoughts. <laughs> what else? What else does Cody... Cody, what do you want? Trashy TV. Wendy Williams. My new show on Netflix is on tonight. So Your new good. show on Netflix. Mm-hmm. What's the new show on Netflix? It's Elite Season 3. Uh, it's pretty much like the Spanish 13 Reasons. We're going to send you positive vibes in language terms so that you can understand them. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Do you ignore all this COVID-19 hubbubaloo? Don't you worry about it. <laughs> you just you keep your mindset of thinking and you'll <laughs> mind mindset of thinking. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and you'll be okay, all right? Yeah. You maintain your authenticity and you will be okay. Maybe I've been messed up for a very, very long time. You Maybe. get you get some toilet paper, what, put it right on that conveyor belt. What, 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 what like, if, yeah, what if he gets diagnosed and then he comes in and all these words are gone? Do you know what I think of? I think of The Simpsons when Homer had the crayon up in his, up his nose. nose. Like, yeah. just give yeah. me something like that, that something's going to get knocked loose and it's all going to be... I, I was going to say, hello, hello, everyone. It's Cody. I'll put it back. How are you? <laughs> hello. I blame it on my C-section. Maybe I lost oxygen. You had a C-section? No wonder your blood pressure exists. <laughs> all right. Blood, well, pressure. <laughs> blood pressure. It's all going to come to fruition for you, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Appreciate it. I got a break. 35192. If you want to send a text, if you want to call us, feel free. 216 578 1007 or 800 348 1007. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app.